Hi, my name is Jennifer Webb McCray, and if you are from Cumberland County, I am your Cumberland County prosecutor. I'm super excited to be here today to talk about Negro spirituals and freedom songs. We all learned about the Underground Railroad and the network of secret paths that slaves used to escape to freedom. It remains one of the most fascinating examples of bravery and resistance in American history. And yet, many of us know little about how it actually functioned. How did fugitive slaves know which way to go? How did people communicate across hundreds of miles without the internet? Part of the answer lies in music, since it was illegal to teach slaves to read or write in most Southern states, songs coded with secret messages were used to convey information about the route north. Some songs gave directions about when, where, and how to escape, while others warned of danger along the way. Harriet Tubman, known as Moses by many, used music to communicate with travelers. In fact, she's a key figure in many of the songs of the time. There were songs like, Follow the Drinking Gourd. When the sun comes back and the first quail calls, follow the drinking gourd. The old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom. Follow the drinking gourd. That song is one of the best examples of a map song. Follow the Drinking Gourd contain essential directions for slaves trying to escape. The first line references the beginning of spring when the days are longer, which was the best time to set out for the long journey north. The second and most famous clue is the Drinking Gourd, which refers to the Big Dipper constellation. By following the line of the constellation to Polaris, the North Star, travelers had a guide in the night sky that pointed them toward freedom. There were songs like Wade in the Water. Wade in the Water. which used biblical imagery to evade suspicion, was used by Harriet Tubman to tell fugitive slaves how to avoid capture. If they thought they were being followed, hiding in the water would conceal them and throw bloodhounds off their scent. Moses refers to Tubman herself, who led hundreds of slaves away from slavery into freedom on the Underground Railroad. There were also songs like Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me Harriet Tubman's favorite song. If a slave heard this song in the South, they knew they had to prepare for escape. The band of angels referred to the conductors on the Underground Railroad, the Sweet Chariot, who would soon come south, swing, swing low, to guide the slaves north to freedom, carry them home. There were other songs though, like Ride On King Jesus. Ride on King Jesus, no man cannot hinder me. Ride on, King Jesus, ride on. No man can 
cannot hinder me. No man cannot hinder me. The slave's imagination was powerfully captivated by the notion of having a king who was wonderful, powerful enough that absolutely no one could hinder him. If Jesus could not be hindered, then they had agencies in ter terms of their own lives as well. Some versions of this life-affirming song add that he is the King of Kings, he is the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, the first and the last, and no one hinders him. This song captures the aspiration of the hearts of enslaved peoples. Jesus was a baby, yes, but he was also a king, recalling his triumphal, unhindered entry into Jerusalem. And if Jesus could do that, he would do it for them and carry them to freedom. Many of the songs we sing today in church are rooted in the Negro spiritual. The songs sang during slavery led to the freedom songs sang during the civil rights movement. In fact, spirituals played a significant role as vehicles for protest at intermittent points during the 20th and early 21st centuries. During the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s, spirituals, as well as gospel songs, supported the efforts of the civil rights activists. There were freedom songs such as, Oh Freedom. Oh, oh, oh freedom. the gospel hymn, I'll Overcome Someday, with the spiritual, I'll Be All Right. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome struggles for democracy in many other countries around the world, including Russia, Eastern Europe, China, and South Africa. Some of today's well-known pop artists continue to draw on the spiritual tradition in the creation of new protest songs, like Bob Marley, Get Up, Stand Up. Get up, stand up, stand up for your right. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. And Glory by John Legend and Common. One day when the glory comes, it will be ours, it will be ours. Oh, one day when the war is won, we will be sure, we will be sure. Oh, glory. Americans have a rich history rooted in the oral tradition of song, which continues to be an integral part of the Black church, the African American worship experience, and the struggle for civil rights in this country and around the world. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell you about 
old Negro spirituals and freedom songs. Amen.